Hello, my name is David Courtney, and I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of the LA120 mic set by Lauten Audio. Just got it in the mail a few, few minutes ago, actually. So, let's see what we have here. This, of course, is the outer box. Sweetwater, thank you. Bumper sticker. Usual packing material. Okay. Here we go. This is the inner box. It says LA120 FET condenser. Lauten Audio Series Flat. Let's see what we have in here. Okay, and it's a pretty nice wooden box. Everything looks fine. Nice retro clasp here. Okay, that looks nice. Silica gel. So, let's start with the unimportant start stuff first. Okay. We have my clips with the adapters on that has to come out because I'm in the United States and we use a different size thread here. That's okay. And we have windscreens here. I will never ever use them because I'm in a studio and I use pop filters for recording voice. So these will never ever be used. Let's go with these. Okay. This is an omnidirectional capsule. That's kind of interesting. When I first looked at the specs on this, I had a real WTF moment. Because if you look at the frequency response, there is an extremely exaggerated treble. And I was wondering what on earth was going on. I, my first impulse was to think that it was poor engineering. But then I thought, no, these guys at Lauten Audio, they know what they're doing. They were thinking of something. So after a tremendous amount of study and contemplation, I finally figured out one of the most common uses of the omnidirectional microphone is for room miking, uh, suspended microphones, things like that. Now, these tend to be diffuse field applications. Now, with a diffuse field application, sound is coming from every direction. But when you test microphones, the tendency is to put them in an anechoic chamber. And an anechoic chamber has no, dif no, there is no diffuse field there. It's all a direct field. And when you do this, one of the things that shows up is that there is an exaggeration in the treble. So yeah, they know what they were doing. And if you see this exaggerated treble, then you'll know that that's what it's for. Now, if you want to use this Omni in something other than a diffuse field application, I don't know how it would sound. You might do okay with just a little equalization. I don't know. But definitely for, for room miking, then it should give you a pretty good sound. So this is the Omni capsule. And there's two of them because there's two microphones. Now, let's look at the microphone itself. Feels pretty solid. Let me change the capsule. That's a good way to feel what the build quality is. I know I've had microphones in the past that had poor build quality, and you could feel it just whenever you had to work with it. Oh, 
I see that the center line doesn't really line up. <clears throat> if you look closely, this center pin is centered in this microphone. But it's not centered in this one. I'm not even sure it'll make a connection. I'm going to have to test that. Looks like this may have to go back. I'll see. Let's look at the switches here. On here, we have our uh, high pass filter that cuts the low frequencies. We have it set for it at 150 hertz, 50 hertz, and then we have a straight. So that's what the switch switch is. This would be used for getting rid of rumble and things like that. At this one, we have a low pass filter that cuts the highest. If you have excessive airiness, you can control it. It's marked at 15K and 10K. I'll have to test things out and let you know how things go. All right, as far as this microphone where the center pin was not centered, I just reached in and gently gave it a little push and it popped right back into place. So everything looks okay right now. Uh, I shouldn't have to do that. So, you know, in terms of the build quality, I'll say it seems to be just okay. The threading seems to be okay. So all in all, I'd say that the build quality sounds seems to be okay. But it, it, it seems a fairly nice microphone, especially for the price. And these uh, very controllable filters seem like a very nice thing. After using this a little bit, well, we'll see how it works. Well, that's it. This is the LA120 by Lawton uh, Audio. And that's an unboxing and my first impressions. Thank you.